stage I am presented with to say something very important. This is a call for action. There is a mass genocide going on in Palestine. People are dying in vast numbers and there is no visible end in sight. Why should we be bothered by this you ask? Because STEM as a field in itself has historically been used to advance the ulterior motives of the imperial powers such as Israel. Many of these prestigious companies are also directly and indirectly implicated in the war against Palestine by providing the state of Israel with technology, technology that's used to kill. As engineers graduating into the real world, it is our job to be aware of the consequences of the work we do. I hope that we can incorporate this awareness more into our daily lives, attempting to understand what we can do to liberate the oppressed on lines of caste, class, creed and gender. This video presented by Peace Islamic International School Branch Hagraga Road and Misbah Nagar Gulbarga. Students getting education for both the worlds. Best Academic English Education. Diploma in Arabic. 2024 admission started. Contact and visit school for more details. To my lowest lows. Now, um, I feel like I'd be doing myself and everything I believe in a great injustice if I do not use the stage I'm presented with to say something very important. This is a call for action. There is a mass genocide going on in Palestine. People are dying in vast numbers and there is no visible end in sight. Why should we be bothered by this, you ask? Because STEM as a field... Because STEM as a field in itself has historically been used to advance the ulterior motives of the imperial powers, such as Israel. As engineering students, we work hard to get top-level jobs at tech giants, which offer very lucrative pays and great benefit. However, these tech giants control various aspects of our lives today, as you know better than anyone. Many of these prestigious companies are also directly and indirectly implicated in the war against Palestine by providing the state of Israel with technology, technology that's used to kill. There are no easy solutions and I don't have all the answers, but I do know this. As engineers graduating into the real world, it is our job to be aware of the consequences of the work we do and also to interrogate our own position in these complex systems of power imbalance. I hope that we can incorporate this awareness more into our daily lives, attempting to understand what we can do to liberate the oppressed on lines of caste, class, creed and gender. I believe that that is the first step to curb the never-ending cycle of suffering.